in the mask of peace and hope. Comes the fearless defender and hero of this town. It is me, Captain Giacchetti. Now listen, you pipsqueak. I'm Captain Justice. Who are you to walk away when the bonafide hero is offering his help? Um, I'm sorry, but I really don't need any kind of hero. Bonafide or... Somebody <laughs> come quick! <sighs> What's that? Trouble? Captain Justice to the rescue! a shame. Where is it? Maybe this job's perfect for you, Mr. Hero. What? Name your catastrophe! Those annoying monsters have turned up again over in Fruit Ball Plaza. They're all yours now, Captain J. Monsters? Don't tell me the Inverse are here. Monsters? Well, too bad. Not on my list. I didn't know bona fide heroes got to pick. But I wouldn't stand a chance of surviving. You uh, fit them into my schedule. Gosh, I thought you said you were Captain Justice. You can't leave those menacing things running loose. They're ruining fruit ball. Huh? Hark, do you hear that? Somebody's calling for Captain Justice's help. Do not fear, I am on my way! Sounds like this catastrophe can't wait, but uh, I'll be back here in a jiff. Oh, I'm sure you will, Captain Useless. But I don't think I'll stay here and hold my breath. I'm anything but a hero, but maybe I could help if you want. Would you? Oh, that'd be just Jim Dandy. Someone needs to trounce those fiends at Fruit Ball and keep them away from the plaza. I'll try. Just give a holler once you're ready, and I'll explain to you how Fruit Ball works.
Ah, you sure taught those monsters a lesson. You're the real hero in town if you ask me. He's right, my dear. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much. Corio, I'm Minnie. And she's our queen. Oh, please excuse me, your majesty. Where are my manners? My name is Aqua. There's no need to be so formal. Just call me Minnie. <sighs> you see, I'm not sure I'm doing a very good job protecting my kingdom. Oh, don't say that, Queen Minnie. We all know how hard it's been since the king set off the way he did. Don't you trouble yourself. Why, we wouldn't even think of putting on our yearly dream festival if we thought there was the slightest chance anything might go wrong. Oh, you're very kind, Horace. How about that Pete, though? Captain Justice, my high. You can't count on him for anything. Wait, you're saying his real name is Pete? Well, it sure sugar isn't justice. Pete never does anything for anybody except Pete. That get up was just an act to get folks to vote for him. He wants to win the Million Dreams Award and hog the prize. Million Dreams Award? What is that? It's part of our dream festival. We all vote for who we think the most admirable citizen is. But Pete seems to have the wrong idea. He thinks that dressing up as a hero and proclaiming that he is one will win him votes. What really makes someone a hero isn't what they wear or what they say. It's the things they do and how they treat everyone. Well, in my book, Aqua here is number one. You got my heartfelt vote. <sighs> Thanks, Horace. I promise I'll try not to let you down. See that you don't. My vote's very important. Oh dear, he sounds serious. <laughs> Being popular is tough. Who do you think's gonna win this year's Million Dreams Award? Sure would be proud of us if we actually won. Yeah, and I bet Uncle Donald would be pretty surprised too. Hello everyone, and thank you for waiting. Now it's time to begin the main event of our dream festival. The Million Dreams Award Presentation. <laughs> Just skip to the part where you say my name. This is a shoe in. Oh, how very exciting! This year, we have multiple winners. The Million Dreams Award goes to... Ventus, Aqua, and Tara. All three of you. <laughs> you mean Ven and Tara were here? What do you mean? There's gotta be a mistake. Everybody voted for Captain Justice. I made sure. Now go on, tell her. No. Better try the other one. The Rogue Racer, Captain Dark. Pete, we counted the votes very carefully. Ventus, Aqua, and Terra won. Oh, Pete. I think you tried to do something good, but you were doing it for the wrong reasons, and you went about it the wrong way. Still, a couple of citizens must have thought you had goodness in you because you actually got a few votes. They knew you were looking out for them. Big whoop. I don't need their lousy votes. Just cough up my prize. Pete! They voted for you because they believe in you and care about you. How could you look down on that? I've tried to forgive a lot of things you've done, but this is too much. Now you finally crossed the line. Like that matters to me. Besides, what are you gonna do about it? Huh. I'm gonna let
let you cool off for a while. Guards! Wait, wait, what? Hey, let me go. Put me down. What? No, you can't. No, no, no. Hey, easy. Ow! Now, shall we continue the ceremony? With the three winners, Ventus, Aqua, and Terra, please come up and join me on the stage. Oh, dear. It looks like our other two winners couldn't make it here to be with us today. I must have just missed them. Perhaps you would accept the award on their behalf. After all, you've been so kind to so many here at the Dream Festival. So now, I hereby present the Million Dreams Award as a token of how much you matter to us. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. And as an extra treat, we've created something special. An ice cream flavor just for you. Royal Berry Ice Cream! Oh, my. I wish I had my own ice cream flavor. What's it taste like? Go on, try it! Delicious. You couldn't have picked a better flavor. Oh, we're all very glad you're enjoying it. <laughs> Who does she think she is talking to be in a place like this? Well, I'll just bust out of here and... Quiet fool. You do not possess that kind of power. Who? Who's there? Show yourself! That is enough. Stop your sniveling and heed my words. Um, okay. If you do exactly as I say, I may decide to release you from this prison. Really? Oh, and you can count on me. Just get me out of here and you can tell me what to do. A very wise choice indeed. Proceed. With your help, soon every world in existence 